Hello and welcome to this practice exam conducted by British American Resource Center. My name is Maruf and I'm your practice examiner. These questions are designed to simulate the us speaking test. So let's begin. What is your full name? Uh, my full name is Riyad Hussain. And what should I call you? You can call me Riyad. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Dhaka. I live in Uttara, Sector 7. At the beginning of the IELTS test, you'd be required to provide your passport or an ID. But as this is just a practice exam, you didn't provide any ID or a passport. Now, in the first part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. Do you like to help others? Uh, yes, I do like to help others. Some, sometimes I even go out of my way to help others and that causes a lot of issues. But I still enjoy helping other people. Great. Have you ever done any volunteer work? I have done a few. Uh, on top of my head, I can think of two that I did. Uh, one of them was uh, cleaning the front street of my school. And the other one was building a stage for a functional program. Okay. What kind of volunteer work would you like to do in the future? I would like to be a volunteer at a marathon race. So I really, I think it's very fun and to give out water bottles to the runners and to encourage them. And as I participated in a marathon myself, I think I, think I can give them helpful tips and stuff like that. So I, I would like to be a volunteer there. Awesome. Why do you think volunteer work is important? Can you repeat the question? Why do you think volunteer work is important? I think it helps you understand some of the workers that uh, do the, these jobs regularly. Mm -hmm. For example, if, if it's a street cleaner, uh, it's a very tedious and a very hard job. And I think it, it would help you appreciate them more. So I think it's very important to do volunteer work to understand how people in this, ki in this kind of field work and feel. This is the end of part one. Now move on to part two. In this part, I'm going to give you a topic and you have to talk about it for one or two minutes. Before you talk, you can take notes if you wish. Okay. You have one minute to think about it. So here is the topic and the pencil and the paper. All right. Thank you. And uh, I would like you to describe a time when you did some volunteer work. And okay. from now, your time starts. Okay. I'm done. Thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, remember, you have one or two minutes for this, so don't worry right. if I stop you. Okay. Would you like to start now, please? Yeah, sure. So um, I did it during my school years. Mm -hmm. uh, it I cleaned the front street of my school. So uh, it was the main road that we used to take uh, take uh, to go to our school, to get to our school. Um, so we cleaned the streets and picked up the garbage from the road and we, we went other directions as well, uh, mainly the subjunct road, the uh, adjacent road basically. So we did that and we picked the garbages, we used a broomstick to clean the roads. We, we wore masks and overcoat, mm -hmm. but I don't think that helped a lot. Um, we helped the workers there. Uh, who works there daily on a daily basis, who cleans the street and everything. I think they had the whole day off where we worked uh, instead of them. Mm -hmm. That felt great. I think they needed, they deserve a break more than anything as they work under the heat and they, like, it's a very tedious job, right? Because there's a lot of dirt, there's mm -hmm. a lot of garbage mm -hmm. and there's a lot of traffic that they always have to face. So uh, I think it was a really good thing that my school, I and my team, my team of volunteers, 
that worked there. So I, to be honest, it was probably one of the best things I had that I was helping someone or a group of people that earns their daily living, their, their, their daily money or their monthly income through this kind of very hard and tedious job. So it felt really nice and I felt great about myself. And the one thing I learned that these jobs are very difficult. Mm -hmm. You have to put on a lot of effort right. and you have to work a lot for long hours to finish what you have to do yet again on a daily basis. Okay, I have some follow-up questions for you. All right. What are some of the challenges or risks that you face in this project? The challenges I faced the most was the dust. I have, a sev I have severe dust allergies and it caused a lot of issues. I had to take a pill before and after I, like, I did the volunteer work. And one of the most risky thing was the ongoing traffic. Mm. Uh, we had to stop the ongoing traffic. It was the main road. So there was a huge traffic. So we had to stop the traffic and then clean and then start traffic again. People got impatient, people started honking and people started even screaming at us. We were probably at class six or seven during that time. And it was very, very scary to stop okay. people. Okay. And how do you measure the impact or success of this project? I think I would say that the most, the most beneficial and successful thing that we did was clean the street and the amount of garbage that we picked from there mm -hmm. and sent it away to the garbage warehouse. So I think we could calculate that from there. And the impact was that I think we learned a lot mm -hmm. about people and how, how hard they have to work. I think it gave us a good experience on how our life would be without them. So I think that was a very impactful thing that a lot of us learned that day. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. This is the end of part two. All right. May I have the pencil? Sure, paper? sure, sure. Yes. Thank you. Thank and, you very much. And a cue card, please. Okay. Yeah. Let's move on to part three and I have several questions for you. How common is volunteer work in your country? I think it's very common. There are a lot of organizations that offer volunteer work and they offer it, like they, they may offer it in advertisement or give it in front of schools and everything where students could join or normal people could join on their weekdays or weekends. Mm. I think it's very common and it's very available. If you, if you just look for it, you can get any volunteer work you want. What are the benefits of volunteer work for individuals in society? For the individuals, uh, if you're a student, then you can earn certificates there. And for other people, I think you get to meet a lot of people. So the social aspect, I think, is a very good thing that you can, like, you can hope to achieve mm -hmm. from volunteer work. So. Uh, let's say you're working under you're working under an organization mm -hmm. with a lot of people from different cultures. They might have different hobbies. They might have different way of life. They might right. think of a different way of life, right? So I think you can learn a lot from them. You can socialize. You can make new friends if you want to. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very good thing to do. And you're helping others, right? So right. why not? What are some of the challenges or difficulties of volunteer work? The challenges and the di or difficulties, right? So I think it's like there can be a like number of challenges, right? Mm -hmm. So some of them might be the environment you're working on, mm -hmm. uh, the actual work. If you're working outside and it's daytime, the heat can be an issue, the mm -hmm. dust, the pollution, and also the people that you're working. You cannot mix with everyone, right? right. You, have a diff you have a type of people that you'd mix with. Mm -hmm. So mixing like, you know, there can be people that you have difficulty like talking to or difficulty communicating. So mm -hmm. those are the f issues that many people can face. Okay. What personalities and qualities are required for being a volunteer? I think uh, the most important quality that you can have is that you have to be very open-minded mm -hmm. and that right. you have to be open to communication, mm -hmm. right? You have to be friendly. You have to be able to talk. Right. You want to talk to people right. because if you're just there and just you're sitting quietly, people would get aw awkward because no one knows you there, right? Yeah. So if you're open-minded, if you're extroverted, if mm -hmm. you're friendly and if you're like, you know, if you're trying to encourage them as well, mm -hmm. they will do the same to you. Right. Can a volunteer be treated the same as paid staff? Uh, in my opinion, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. 
because paid stuff you're paying them to do the work volunteers they're doing it themselves mm -hmm. and so i think you would want to encourage the volunteers more and you'd want to make sure that they're being treated a bit more differently than the pay stuff i'm not saying that the pay stuff shouldn't be treated as good mm -hmm. i'm just saying that they should be different because they're taking time out of their weekdays or right. weekends right. to do the to, to do the volunteer work mm -hmm. right so i think they should be treated a bit different and should be treated with a bit more encouragement and a bit for in a cheerful manner right how can people be encouraged to do more volunteer work well again back to the student part if you're a student just give them certificates i think that's the best way to get students to do the volunteer work mm -hmm. and for other people i can think of two ways uh first can be advertisements obviously you advertise for your event mm -hmm. you organize more events mm -hmm. so that there are a lot of chance uh for volunteer for volunteering work and the other way can be again to organize more people uh, to organize more events where people can join mm -hmm. and if they see the volunteers they can they can be encouraged to participate as a volunteer next time right for example right. for me uh i want to be a volunteer at a marathon mm -hmm. so because and i want to be that because i saw other volunteers do that and i thought it was a really fun and a very enjoyable thing to do mm -hmm. right so i want to do that i think that's the best way to encourage more people to participate in volunteer work okay thank you very much thank you very this much for having me this is the end of me. the speaking test right. thanks for joining us